Okay, so the video that you were all waiting for. The review of Oxygen OS 11.1.1.3 update for the OnePlus Nord. And this was a much required update majorly because of how messy the previous version used to be with its notification delay, charging slowdowns and lags here and there. And after two months, here it is, yet another update. But the main question is, is this one any better than the last table update? Well, let's find out. Before moving further, a tap on that subscribe button will really help the channel out. Okay, first up, the benchmark scores have been decreasing since Android 11 came. Though I don't believe in numbers as such, but it tells quite a bit about the raw performance, at least on paper, and I've been observing it really closely. Hence, I tested this update with apps and games like PUBG and Asphalt 9, and many of you are interested in PUBG, so let me share that. Well, I did play the game on smooth and extreme settings first because naturally that feels the best and smoothest. And as you can see, as soon as the temperature touches 40 to 41 degrees, the game starts to lag and there are frame drops here and there. So I switched over to Ultra and though the game was much more playable as such, but the quality and smoothness got impacted, which I did not like personally. Hence, I finished the game on smooth and extreme settings with drop frames and the max temperature retained was 42 degrees, which is quite controlled as far as previous versions are concerned. Though on Android 10 it was much more refined than 11. But this version is a definite improvement over the last one. Though still if you play heavy games like PUBG, just switch over to Android 10 if you want the best performance. Else you will end up with somewhat average experience as the next stable update will come in 2 months or so. Rest there won't be any issues as such in day to day tasks and apps and everything will run just fine. Coming to the battery life now and that has been decent for me as well as other users. Nothing extraordinary as such that is around 6 to 6.5 hours of screen on time usually with no gaming on 90hz mode of course. Which is fine but again I have seen better stats on Android 10. So not a battery champ as such and the overnight drain was around 4% with Wi-Fi. Also about that 2.4GHz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth issue, well it was fine as such and the speed of Wi-Fi is slightly better than before. And maybe that's the max they can do, but I did not face any disconnection issue with bullets too as such. The charging time has been improved and in my case it has started to charge in almost 1 hour or so, which is good, at least something was fixed. Now about the notification delay issue, well this was one of the most annoying things I ever experienced on a device as I used to miss a lot of mails and messages and well after this update it is quite better than before. Yes, but I won't say that it is fully resolved as such as sometimes it works just fine and I get timely notification from apps like telegram and whatsapp but sometimes it goes all crazy again and I don't get any notification from any of these apps and thus I did set them to do not optimize and this has helped quite a lot so long press on application go to app info scroll down to the battery tab and choose do not optimize to get timely notifications so by default this issue is still there like 30 percent of the time even now and i'm really sad to see that it is still there one more annoying issue that is now with most oneplus devices is with the new gallery application and that is also super annoying sometimes as it keeps on loading and takes minutes to delete couple of photos plus the loading time too has been weird so I'm really hoping that they can update the gallery application on Play Store so that users can really do their basic tasks easily. Also there are no improvements or changes in the images shot from this device and all the modes work fine. And to sum it all up, well if you're already on any version of Android 11, I would say you can update to this one as you must be already in a mess and this one fixes some of it. But still, it is not up to the mark because of that annoying notification issue and lags in gaming, which is enough to ruin it for some users. And I'll try to cover more custom rooms to keep things up and running. So that's pretty much it for this Oxynos 11.1.1.3 update for the OnePlus Nord. And if you end up liking this video, make sure you tap on that subscribe button for more awesome content and share this video with your friends. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.